शाकिब भाई एंड शेख साहब ही पुट ऑल द द वर्ड्स फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई थिंक प्रॉब्ली वेन आई कैम लास्ट टाइम हेयर एंड आई मैंशन टू थिंग्स विच आई हर्ड फ्रॉम द उलमास मस्जिद इज हाउस ऑफ अल्लाह and madrasa is house of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam masjid house of allah and madrasa house of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now just imagine you know we all are here for a good for for a great cause obviously to build masjid and madrasa i was in england one mufti sahab came from india one mufti sahab came from india theek hai yeah one mufti sahab came from india and i was having dinner with him and i think last time i requested to sheikh here and i said that i need the reference of that story which i heard from the mufti sahab the story was this the question will be asked to the person are you alim hereafter not here not in this dunya hereafter are you alim and he will say no do you know anyone who is alim he said i don't know anyone then the third question will be asked did you you know help someone to become alim he will say no and the fourth question will be asked have you ever met alim in your life or in your family anyone is alim is he will say no and then the last question will be asked have you ever met alim in your life and he will say yes one day somebody invited me for dinner i went to i went to have a dinner at his place and luckily i was sitting next to alim and i had a dinner sitting next to alim once in his life so we'll say i had a dinner in this in the dunya with alim and he was sitting next to me and it, और उसे कहा जाएगा इल बी द गुड न्यूज विल बी गिवन टू हिम दैट यू हैड डिनर विद आलिम इन दुनिया बिकॉज ऑफ द बरकत ऑफ दैट डिनर यू विल बी रिपेंटेंस नाउ यू विल बी फॉर गिवन नाउ एंड गो इन द पैराडाइज हैविंग डिनर विद आलिम आई हर्ड फ्रॉम मुफ्ती साहब and i think last time i requested to hazrat here i said i need the reference but i heard from mufti sahab imagine the fazilat the fazail of alim madrasa is house of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam masjid is house of allah this is our responsibility to do the khidmat of deen and all these you know youngsters they will become hafiz and alim imagine hafiz and alim one day we all cricketers we were sitting with molana in lahore and one of die hard fan of cricket he, he was introducing all the players he was saying that sheikh they are superstar Molana said what do you mean by superstars that they play cricket they are superstars then molana read the hadith of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the nearest meaning of hadith allah's nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said my sahaba they are the guiding stars if you follow anyone you will be successful here and hereafter the superstars sahaba not the the people those have lot of money big jobs cricketers actors 
our heroes, role models, ideals, guiding stars, they are Sahaba. We must read the life of Sahaba. They sacrifice everything for this deen. They sacrifice everything. What we are sacrificing for this deen? We need to ask this question. What is the purpose of my life? Where I am spending my energy? How I am spending my money? Why I am here in this dunya? Why Allah gave me the kalima? Why I am Muslim? I was in Australia just last winter with England team. I'm retired now. Shakib, he's the superstar now. He's still playing for Bangladesh. Mashallah, Allah give him a lot of visit and respect. And the other brother, brother Sunny Elias. He got man of the match in the first game when he played for Bangladesh. They both are current cricketers. I was in Australia with the England team. And I went in a masjid in Brisbane. That masjid was more than, I think, 120 years old. And then I met local people over there asking questions and all. And they said that Afghans more than 100 years back they went there those were actually following the deen they said we need masjid and they build the masjid and those went away from deen and one of the local person said there are few ex cricketers i'm not going to mention their name they are from Afghan, but they are not Muslim now. They are not Muslim now. Just imagine if we are actually building masjid and madrasas, what will happen? Our young generation, they'll obey Allah. They'll follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They'll read Quran. Just imagine. The Quran came from Allah through Jibreel -Islam, into the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and from there it will go in the heart of your young kids and they will learn the Quran they will learn the Quran they will learn the deen we have to have worry and concern for that trust me this life is very short and very unpredictable my younger brother he was 33 years old he had a chest pain we took him to the hospital he died on the spot as soon as we reached in the hospital heart attack gone my grandfather was alive and my brother's son and daughter they passed away that is the story of my own family ITV, call of peace, save humanity.